that we mentioned to the fixed area to the side is more of an amphitheater. Uh, this is a little one I did over at Lee University, and you can see how you have the, the terraced area, mason area, a lawn. People can sit on the walls, and it's wide enough they can put chairs on. This is one over in Cookville. We, we worked on uh, the uh, master plan for the park. This is one I did in Greece. It's called Delphi. <laughs> a lot of you are a little too young to remember it. Uh, I did it in 400 BC. But <laughs> so. Now the pavilion area itself, um, the, the, the concept is very simple. Again, it can look like different things, but you want to have a nice open area that you can bring tables out or not, have an area that's a, a kitchen with a service entry uh, area that could serve the open pavilion, could also act as a concession stand if you have an event, and then restroom facilities that are off to the side. In this plan, if you remember, Mirror Lake is to the right on the plan. Again, pavilions could be anything but the basic components. This is, this is one we did at Teleco Village. Uh, you know, it could have a vaulted ceiling like, like so in here. Uh, or it, it could be a little bit fancier. That'll be worked out in the, in the concept of the final design, cost, and so on. So we're back to sort of the diagram that we we were working from to begin with. And it had, again, the parking, the pavilion. And again, the good thing about this plan is that pavilion is, and, and this stage are, can act in tandem to support each other, or they're completely separate uh, entities as well. Uh, again, you could have an event going on at the pavilion with Mirror Lake, and then the open lawn area, or the stage, and, this, and the uh, sitting area. So we went from that, we said, let's kick it up a notch. How could we enhance that? And this is where we evolved to. And some of the nice things that came out of it was, we talked about with the pavilion is to develop a little more outside paving area and something that might also have uh, a signature piece of plaza for the community, such as the concept maybe of a veterans plaza here. So that if there's activity going on here, you still have paving of some sorts, seat walls, you can bring furniture out, and it's in its, in its attribute areas as well. You can see in this plan that I rotated the sitting area from the diagram, which really works great because that's right up the hill. We have a series of seating. We can put about 200 uh, people accommodate in this area, so get there early. And then you've got the 12 to 1400 spectators uh, out on the lawn area. This dark shaded area is where the ground starts sloping down to the trail here. We have the pavilion, and in this one, we took a, an approach of, of actually having the access for loading coming from the uh, village center parking lot to here. So this is as far as we've gone. And there's no need to go any farther until, one, the community is well behind this concept. And then from that point, what we'll do is start developing more finished plans, start looking at the details, how things fit together, start compiling uh, cost estimates that work so we can see how it goes. Another good aspect of this plan is very phaseable that you can start off with any element. You could start off with the pavilion, uh, pavilion here. You could start off with, with this one here, the, the stage pavilion, or just the community pavilion as well. So that's where we are. The next thing, I guess, is, as uh, Oliver said, is it'll be developing some more survey to get information. We'll be refining it, upgrading it, and then uh, at some point, figuring out a way to get it paid for and built. So I, that's all, where's Oliver? All right, let's, let's give Michael a hand. Thank you, Michael. Great, so I know you all probably have a few questions. No, okay, y'all are dismissed, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we are going to be very orderly with our questions, if I may ask. Uh, we have uh, two microphones, 
that are located on both sides. Okay, if you would like see. someone to bring a microphone to you, if that's more convenient for you, please raise your hand. And uh, your okay. general manager, Bob Weber, has indicated that he will uh, bring the microphone to you. So if you would go ahead and go to uh, the microphones on either side, we'll be happy to entertain questions. Thank you.